guys, welcome to this week's video. My name is Carla and I am going to be decluttering and organizing and downsizing my handbag today. This is the bag I typically carry around with me. It's a Claire V bag. It's a really good size. It's very functional. I love the double handles that I can carry it like that or like this. It just tends to get filled with a bunch of stuff. It's like a black hole. So I'm going to empty out my purse, sort through things, throw away trash, all of that. But really what I want to do is create my own version of a minimalist purse. It's summertime. I have a gorgeous purse that I thrifted that I want to use all summer and I want to travel lightly. I don't need to be caring. I really don't need all the stuff that's in here. I don't even know. It's pretty messy. It's very messy. Okay. So that's the plan. I want to create a purse that has only the essentials and really pare things down and simplify. For me, the essentials are basically phone, keys, wallet, what else? A toiletries bag and an electronic bag that has headphones, maybe a couple pens or a pen. So if you have a messy purse and you want to get it organized, go ahead and grab that now. We can do it. We can do it together. Okay, before we start though, I first wanna say welcome back. If you've been here before, I love reading your guys' comments. You all leave really the most heartfelt, beautiful, loving, and hilarious comments for me. Thanks you guys for supporting my channel. And if you're new here, I hope you will subscribe. Here we go. Let me try one of these. It doesn't look as good when I do it. I have very lined hands. Boosh. Gosh, my hands are like, oh, it's art, ancient. What the hell? I've always had very lined hands. Okay, don't do that then. Okay, let's begin. So this is the view. This is what I see when I open my purse. And the first step is to dump everything out. That way I can see exactly what I'm working with. So I treat my purse the same way I treat any other room. I'm decluttering, always take everything out and I gotta touch every item. One receipt hiding in there. Okay, now it's time to start sorting. So I found one pair of sunglasses, two pair of sunglasses. This is a wrapper for a piece of cheese. This is a parking ticket. This is an actual receipt that I do need, but for the most part, I am enacting a new rule for myself. I will not take paper receipts for things like gas and food. I don't need those hanging out of my purse and I have a really bad habit of taking the receipt and just throwing it into my purse, basically treating my purse like a trash bag. That's a medication I use for my migraines. And another food receipt. Receipts are also supposed to be super toxic. Have you heard that? I heard that from a naturopath. She told me to not even touch receipts anymore because they're super toxic. A receipt, trash, wrapper, more paper, but that was also a receipt. So yeah, I'm going to set a standard for myself. Okay, now I am going to be sorting through the cash. This is the next category. Taking all the loose bills that have been hiding in my purse. And I remember Susie Orman saying on Oprah, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago, that the way you treat your cash is a signal to the universe that you are ready for more. So you're supposed to take all your bills and have them facing the same direction in order. So to make sure that all your bills are together and in order, and that shows the universe that you are ready for more. Clearly, I did not take that advice because my money was just hanging out all over the place, but I'm going to make more of an effort to keep things organized. Okay, now I've got my coins, just gathering any loose change, making a little pile. This is a ticket from when I went to go visit my brother in the hospital. This is a little packet that came with my car phone charger kit. Has a couple of alcohol swabs. I was literally thinking of keeping those. If you've watched my other videos, you know I have a problem with keeping sample size things. And I decided to just go ahead and put that in the trash pile. I don't need those little mini alcohol swabs. I have full size bottle of alcohol in my medicine cabinet. Let it go, Carla, let it go. Okay. 
jewelry, lip gloss, Tide pen, headphones, and string. Every time I reach into my purse looking for my headphones, I'd end up pulling out this string. It was like having a clown bag, and I do actually need this string. I use it for this necklace that I have, so I'm just gonna put that off to the side, and it doesn't need to be in my purse. Now I'm sorting toiletries, so I have my hand sanitizer, my Tide stick, another pair of sunglasses, so we're up to three sunglasses total, more change. A lip gloss I'm not really a big fan of. I love that lotion, so that one's going to stay in my purse. A lonely little Splenda packet. Oh, this stuff here, this is called Oscillocostinum. It's for when you have a cold and I was carrying this around a lot last year because I always thought I was getting sick with you know what every five seconds, but I don't really need to carry that in my purse. It honestly should just stay at home. This is where I hoard. That wallet there is just full of gift cards. I hoard gift cards. It's another one of those things that I just can't seem to bring myself to use. I am making a commitment to using those gift cards by the end of the year. Really, I could do it within a week. Tidying up my headphones. Those are a necessity in my handbag. I have to have headphones. I listen to a lot of audiobooks. Okay, now my keys. I'm just going to go through my keychain and see what I can take off if there's anything unnecessary, like that little silver ring. This is an alarm that a friend's sister gave me for Christmas probably three years ago, and I've never used it once. You're supposed to pull it apart if anyone's bothering you on the street, but I forget that it's there and it's bulky and I don't really need it on my keychain. My little Tiffany and Co. keychain another friend gave me, which I cherish and love. This is my Yoga Works Pass and I don't go there anymore. It closed over the last year or so. House key, mailbox key, abundance ring, everything under the sun. I love that little symbol. I'm gonna keep it. And a key to my dad's house. So keys are done. This little sticker notebook, I don't need to carry this in my purse. Sometimes I have my planner with me, but these are little planner stickers and I'm going to put that with my golden coil planner and keep it on my desk. This scarf, I'm definitely keeping. It was my mom's and we had a running joke that I would always steal her scarves. I've probably had this for 25 years and yeah, it's more of a sentimental item. I don't need to have it in my purse though. I think it was just in there because I went to get my hair did this weekend. All right, time to change wallets. I am downsizing my wallet. I've had this wallet for probably three or four years now. And I like the smaller size of the black one. It's slim, it's not a trifold. I don't need all the cards in the world to be with me at all times in my purse. So simplified things, put my coins in the coin section, put the cash in there, got my cards down to five. There are six slots. Some of the other cards that were hiding in there, uh, gift cards. So I'm gonna add them to the pile. And there we go old wallet gone this is an inhaler shell it's empty don't need it I decided I don't need to carry the gift cards with me I can do online shopping and spend most of those at home so done with the wallet organization moving on to my toiletries bag this is one of the three items I consider essential in my bag is to have a toiletries bag. So in here, I will put things like my lotion, gotta have lotion, my Tide stick because I'm clumsy and I always spill something on my clothes. So it's imperative to carry that in my purse. 
I have my hand sanitizer, my lip gloss by NARS. I'll link it below. It's a beautiful color. I love that one. Not going to use that lip gloss. I don't like it. I'll probably end up decluttering it or giving it to a friend, actually. Yeah. Gum. Always like to have gum in my toiletries bag. Might be a weird thing to have Splenda in your toiletries bag, but I'll use it. Got this little compact brush mirror. I only have one brush and I use that in my bathroom. So I do need one for when I'm on the road. This other bag is my essentials bag. Essentials are my headphones, a single pen, A pair of sunglasses and I will end up putting my keys in there as well yeah for me the essentials really are headphones pen keys that's it okay here's the basket let's see how things are fitting we've got toiletries bag essentials bag it's a very slim purse it's nice to just have things organized in there Put my keys into the essentials bag. Voila, we are done. Woohoo! Oh, the wallet. Don't forget the wallet. Yep, gotta have that. <laughs> it all fits beautifully. So much nicer. I like the compartmentalization. Here's all the trash that was sitting in my purse. And these are things that I don't need to keep. Extra sunglasses, uh, my fancy sunglasses I don't wanna carry in that big case, so. Okay, the purse is complete. What do you guys think about what I included? Here's the new wallet. I got my cards down to one, two, three, four, five cards. And then I just put in cash monies and coins in here with one receipt that I'm going to be taking care of a return I'm doing today. I really like this new wallet. I like how streamlined it is. I like how small and slim it is. It's so much better than this thing that I've been carrying for years, which it has served me well. Thank you so much. It's filthy. You can see the dirt. <laughs> That's what I've been paying with in public. Both of these are from Target. Okay, this little bag here, I have my keys in here. This is perfect. These are these are the essentials. My shade, my keys, a pen, and my headphones. That's really all I need in my life. Oh, and this is where my phone would go, except I'm filming on my phone. So this is my phone case. Let's see, does it fit? Mm. Okay, maybe not. Oh, no, it does. Okay, phone case fits in here too. I love this little pouch. So that's number item number two. So it's like I have three little homes within the home of my bag. And then in my toiletries bag, I have my lotion, I have my sanitizer, my brush with a mirror, my Tide stick, my lip gloss, my Trident gum, and a single packet of Splenda. Down from all that stuff to these three items into this cute little handbag. I believe I can get through the summer with this bag traveling so much lighter and it's adorable. I have one other purse that is a smaller size. Let me get it. I also have this little handbag. It's also vintage. It's a little worn out. Let's just see if it can also house the same items. The pouch, the wallet, and the essentials bag. And it all fits in here as well. Now I know I can carry it in this bag if I want something that's maybe like a little more functional. Everything has a home. We know it fits in two different purses, both on the small side. <sighs> Mission accomplished. We both hope you enjoy your day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Make sure to comment, like, click the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will see you next weekend with another video. Kisses, bye. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful.